Hello, I'm Christy with Green Living Off Grid. And last time I showed you guys how to take this four gallon modular stacker tote and turn it into a grow bin for microgreens and seed starting tray to be able to start your plants for hydroponics. We started some lettuce seeds and now they have sprouted and it's time now to turn this same tote into a floating raft system to be able to grow our lettuce seeds using this cracky grow hydroponic method. So all we need for this is just like we had with our last one, we have a clamp light. This is eight inch clamp light. You'll want a daylight spectrum bulb, a four gallon modular stacker tote, and a pool noodle that we're gonna cut to be able to create a floating raft system for our seedlings to be able to grow inside this cracky grow bin. So let's get started building and watch these plants grow in our new system. Now to make this floating raft system with this pool noodle, we're going to take these little rock wall cubes. As you can see, they are, well, most of them have sprouted pretty good. There's a nice stem on these. They haven't had roots drop all the way through yet, but um, they've sprouted enough. I think they're ready to go inside our floating raft system that we're going to make with this pool noodle. It has a little center hole in it. And we're going to cut this down about one inch so that they can serve kind of like a little net pot. The pool noodle will take the place of the net pot and holding the little rock wall cube inside, right here. We can use these little pool noodles, little segments that we cut off, to stick our rock wall cube in it. Now, one thing I've noticed with my one inch rock wall cube, it does get a little caught when it's going in. So I'm gonna fix that by just cutting this down on the side and this will allow me to widen it as needed for my cubes. So you can easily float it like that. We're also going to maybe lower this a little lower because I want to be able to get water in it. But once the roots come out, it's advised to go up a little higher because you want an air gap once those roots are able to reach your water reserve so that the plant doesn't drown with too much water. But when they're in this stage where the roots haven't come out yet, we can set it down a little bit lower. Get that little bit of water out of work. And see, that'll work. That'll keep that rock wall cube moist enough while the plant is growing. We'll also add some nutrients to the water as well. We'll do that in a minute. But let's go ahead and do some more of these. If you have too much trouble, then um, we may have to add a second ring. This one is too top heavy, and I think that's what's happening. So let's try a second ring and see if that fixes it. See, it's a little bit not exactly cut straight, and that's part of the problem. I think that was going on with the other one. It's hard to get it exactly right, and if that's the case, and you got enough root to where it can still reach the water, and have a little bit of a gap, this will work. So there, we've got a double ring for this one since it was having to go up a little bit to give it a little bit of an air gap. You can always stick a second ring around it on the side that wants to fall over. And I have several more to do, but before I fill this thing up, I wanted to go ahead and add the nutrients because it gets harder once they get full. But I wanted to show you what I use. I use the General Hydroponics Maxi Grow, which is great for supporting young seedlings in the beginning stages of life. It supports the green growth and it works with pretty much any plant you want to grow, at least at the beginning stages. There are other formulas that you want to use when they start to fruit. And for those kinds of plants, you might need to add a different kind of nutrient uh, later on. But for seedlings and anything you start this is a great starter plant food i do one teaspoon per gallon of water and in this bin this is a one teaspoon on one side and a tablespoon on the other which is like three gallons worth if i were to fill that one up 
So since this bin only has maybe at the most two gallons, I'm only going to put two of these teaspoons in. And then we'll stir it. That's all you really need to do for a cracky grow system like this. Cracking is basically the method of growing without aeration. You, If you give them the proper spacing for the roots to have a gap, an air gap at the bottom on plants like the lettuce that are really easy to grow, you don't have to add air lines or air stones or anything to the reserve. They'll grow just fine like this as long as you have good lighting and you maintain that little gap like I showed you with the cloning collars here. Well here you can see I have all of the aqua cubes and the little seedlings here in the little pool noodle rafts. I would like to point out that as you can see here as they get a little bit bigger it does like to tip over kind of as they're leaning toward the light that one just fell over and without having a structure in here to kind of keep these guys from you know twisting and turning and just knocking things over I think really this is ideal just for starting the seedlings not so much for growing them to full term that's my take I know with this one I put a couple collars on it that's why it's so tall but it's kind of keeping this out of the water from like the leaves from falling into the water but it does seem to be an issue that without being able to brace these properly so that they either have some kind of a support on the edge I'm going to have issues as these grow so I'm going to recommend that to actually take these further you get yourself a net pot like this and it's real easy we can just you replant them into these little two inch net pots they sit in here pretty well and if you need to stable it a little bit more you can get hydrogen clay pellets like these these are ones that I've reused over and over and over again you just put them around the edge to kind of give them a little bit more stability and I had drilled out those two inch net pot holes right into the lid that fits this four gallon modular stacker so this is a spacing that I do with the lids I just put two on each section and one in the middle and two here and that allows for the lettuce heads to develop nice and large without crowding each other that seems to work really well with this bin and another thing you can do so you can just get yourself a jam jelly jar like this smuckers sweet orange marmalade you can see how it fits a two inch net pot perfect you don't even have to drill any lids out so that's another way that you can take these little seedlings put them in a two inch net pot get that support that they need so you can just stick your your plant right in to one of these setups you just pull it right out of the, the little floating raft put it in the two inch net pot and just stick it in the jar of these gem jelly and what I like about these guys is you can just bring the water up while the seeds are still sprouting or in this case they've sprouted but the roots haven't gone all the way through your walk walk cube yet down into the reserve so you'll want to bring the water level up to about a quarter inch into the bottom of the net pot when they grow in here until those roots drop down and then once they drop down, you can keep the water, give them a quarter inch gap for air as the roots come down. That's what I would recommend for using a jam jelly jar or sweet orange marmalade. Or if you use those three inch net pots like these, you can put these in regular mason jars that have a three inch hole. So that's an easy way to do it. You can do that or just put them in the lid right here. But that's what I recommend. Because in these floating rafts, they're just going to tip over on you as they get a little bit larger and develop the leaves further. Well, here are some of my lettuce plants. As you can see, they are planted into the lid of these bins. And I put my little clamp lights on the side of my little shelving unit so that they can grow and get the proper lighting.
to develop into the full heads of lettuce. Happy gardening everybody and I'll see you again next time.